Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So Lolo, can you guess where we're at? What? Oh. Come on. We're here at Canada Fossil Discovery Center. Yeah. Where Dave unearthed dinosaur fossils from millions of years ago. I can't wait to check them out with you guys. So let's go. Yeah, what are we go. waiting for? Yeah, right? Come on, yeah. different fossil artifacts and other stuff and yeah it looks so very nice so far so really are the marine reptiles this mm. one interestingly enough is called stixosaurus snowy which i thought was really cute that has snowy in its name <laughs> and it's 80 million years ago yeah 80 million hi snowy age i mean his age studied this at some point in bio class. So it's about Charles Darwin and his discoveries in the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, the classic story. Look at this two teeth of the shark. A from a shark specimen discovered near Dauphin. This turtle skull. Look at another one. The gladius, an internal support structure. The different stages of Manitoba's fossils are the vision, Cretaceous, and Quaternary. 404 million years ago, the world was quite different than it is today. It's a squid. Look at this ancient squid. It's a squid? I think it's yeah. like... It's from the Ordovician period, and it had like external shells that could extend up to three meters Ni nice So this is a type of algae, also known as uh, receptaculites. I don't know if that you pronounced that correctly, but it's so superficially similar to the center of a sunflower. Weird, right? Yeah. This is a remain of a bison. It is 11,000 years ago. It's wandered in Manitoba. See? And these are the baby uh, elephants. Herds of horse motordons and rudely mammoths. These are mammoths of North America. They are here also in Manitoba. During that time. Huh? It's a bison. These are rocks and sauces. This one, these are from the sedimentary period, a shale, a sandstone, and a limestone. And these are metamorphic rocks, which are due to high temperatures and pressures. So they were preserved very well. And those ones at the top, they're igneous rocks. Food for the so cute. It's so cute. They're miniature versions of people. Discovering something. 
Yeah. Anthropologist. Mini anthropologist. So these are altered soft parts of animals. They can also be altered over time and preserved. So that's why they're called altered. Like these, for example, these are corporates, cast, carbonization, molds, and some drying. As you can see with that birdie over there. <laughs> yeah. From 2010, and this is the Mosar. This uh, Sipactinus, uh, our class, the class is fish, uh, maximum size is 18 feet. 18 feet, wow. their main uh, weapons are large stick size. Look at their teeth, very pointed. These are, these are, these are actual real fossils, and you can actually touch them like. That's surreal. They are really like vertebrae. Yeah, they of course, are. usually fossils are vertebrates. They're my best friend. It's like the hard construction of a fossil. Hello, friend. How are you? <laughs> you doing good over there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I like that. So basically, this is like a how how anthropologists and other people take fossils to like send them here and stuff. So yeah. Oh, how come my prince is still there? For almost 80 million years? Mm. Oh, maybe. <laughs> he, he was caught by the eyes. And now, she's still there. Oh. No, it's a swimming bird. Okay. Like fish. Oh, see, the numbers. Those people exist. Those numbers. See, these are the water animals that used to exist. And it says it's modeled one out of one to seven. So they're like seven times bigger. Whoa. This one looks like the mushroom. The great cups. Look at this. Look at this. I, I love this part. This area. So nice. <laughs> and they're out to eat How seagulls. To oh, please. Don't take it. She's so, so small for you. What? Oddly <laughs> 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 enough, this, this exhibit makes me want to swim in a pool or a beach. Look at them swimming on For some reason. This is Mosasaur. Mosasaur. It's a Mosasaur skeleton, like the one below, as you can see. It's yeah. really huge, man. It's so nice. These. These are part of the fossils of crocodiles. As you can see, it doesn't look that much like a crocodile, but it must have been really huge at that time. Scary. About this one, Grando. That, that one's a turtle upward jaw. Yeah, like this one, I think it's this part. Uh -huh. This one is this part. part. Because they became little by little because it changed little during the past million of years. Turtle upper jaw. No, that's a huge calamari. A huge calamari. Yeah. 
Marie, although I Pero personally Marie, don't eat them. Imagine it with... Oh, imagine when we are doing the pulutan, the drinking, very big calamares. Oh, you cannot consume them. Oh, man. China Cromero. China Cromero? It was excavated back in 1972. Yeah? Huh? You are still a... Oh, no, we are still a fetus. <laughs> Fishes from the from the deepest parts of the ocean, as you can see. This is the Paki Reisha Dush. Paki Reisha Dush. Which means thick rooted tooth. Yeah. Is it paki raise your tooth? Paki. Okay. Yeah. Where yes. they bring the excavated fossils to fix and put in the museum. So yeah, um there's a machine over there. This is the Velociraptor workplace. They're gathering all of them here in order to do the job here. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I call it a seesaw. <laughs> There's a seesaw over there. They are using it there here. You see that? Okay. Oh, what is that? Is that a worm? Big worm? Oh. Mm, no, I think it's a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 You're correct. This is a dinosaurus. Which is a carnivorous dinosaur that lived 150 to 155 million years ago. It's lived here. It lives here uh -huh. in North, uh, North America yeah. during the latest Jurassic period. Approximately 155 to 150 million years. It's 18 million years and it's 9 
meters, which is basically like 30 feet. And it was discovered near Thornhill back in 1977. So this is Betsy, the Sir Canadian Discovery Center of Fossils. Uh -huh. Award for Excellence in Paleontology. So Bruno, what's your take on this adventure? Well, uh, it is very amazing because uh, most of this uh, uh, fossils here and uh, remains of uh, all the fish mammalias and uh, animals were all uh, millions of years of age. It's only a rare, rare privilege to see this. That everything has a beginning and an end, as you can see. Only the fossils immortalize those like animals, but you can see how like these animals have evolved through time, just like how we evolve as people and how we grow. So yeah guys, that's it. I really had so much fun and I learned a lot during this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like, share and subscribe with the notifications on and uh, so thank you again guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao!